Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Um, gee whiz. Well, we are all grateful, all grateful and honored for the opportunity and for the good fortune that have brought us all here this evening on this suspicious occasion. You know that the Hall of Fame is making money. I asked for a second bottle of water over here at my table and the waiter brought me a check for 13 bucks. <clears throat> um, I've had a lot of mixed emotions about this, to tell you the truth. I, I'm having trouble with the name. Um, Hall of Fame. It's the fame part that, that, that bothers me a little. Here in the, in the waning hours of the 20th century, in, the, uh, in, w in what we call Western culture, and in this age of media, friends, fame is just not what it used to be. Uh, it's become an ugly, ugly thing. Um, and Andy Warhol was right. You know, anybody can be famous for 15 minutes. If you're sufficiently starved for attention and willing to be really obnoxious in public uh, and make a complete fool of yourself, you too can be famous. In fact, I'm sure many of you later this evening will be famous or, <laughs> or more famous than you already are. But I guess, you know, I, the line between fame and accomplishment is becoming very blurred. And I guess they couldn't call it the hall of accomplishment. But um, you know, um, accomplishment enriches life, you know, and, and fame always comes with a price. And, uh, you know, accomplishment, you know, fame, is, fame is just a byproduct. I mean, I'm sorry, yes, fame is a byproduct of accomplishment. But uh, when a kid first picks up a guitar or a, a drumstick, you know, it's not really to be famous. It's because that kid wants to fit in somewhere and he wants to be accepted and, and he wants to be uh, understood even. And so, I like to think of this award as something that is acknowledging us not for being famous, but for doing the work. And uh, I appreciate all the work that all these guys behind me have done. I want to thank Irving Azoff, without whom we wouldn't be here today. Well, we might still be here, we wouldn't have made as much money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As I've said before, he may be Satan, but he's our Satan. I want to thank Bill Simzik, who's here this evening, our producer. I want to thank uh, Glenn Johns. Hell, I'll even thank David Geffen. I want to thank our good friends and compadres Jackson Brown and J.D. Souther. Our crew, our many, many, many good men in our road crew. That's them applauding. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's been a good trip, and we appreciate it. Uh, last but not least, I want to thank my family, my mother, and my father for believing in me early on and getting me that drum set and letting me play it in the house. And uh, I want to thank my wonderful wife for being patient and kind and loving and understanding. Thank you all. I'd like to thank uh, who's ever responsible for my induction into this Hall of Fame. And on a brief personal note, um, I'd like to say that I was not in the trenches with this particular band. And so I'd like to thank my predecessor, Randy Meisner, for being there. and paving the way for my being here tonight with him beside me and the rest of these guys. I'm very honored. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Bernie Ledden, and I'm really honored to be here tonight. Thank you. 
really proud that I've lived long enough to be indicted. And, uh, inducted. Like to, inducted. Indicted, inducted. and uh, I'd like to thank everybody on the grand jury who voted for me. <laughs> There's a few people, um, I echo the thanks to, to the people already mentioned. Um, but there's a few people that are lesser known for having contributed. One I'd like to mention is John Boylan. Yes, sir. Yes. He, was, um, he was Linda Ronstadt's manager and producer at the time that we got together and had a lot to do with my being included in the first group of four. And I'd really like to thank him personally tonight. I'd also like to thank um, a man honored earlier tonight, Ahmed Erdogan, and Atlantic Records for having uh, funded David Geffen and Elliot Roberts in the starting of Asylum Records. And I know that, uh, that uh, Atlantic did a lot of the work behind the scenes in the beginning of the Eagle's success. And I'd like to thank them again. And I'm honored to be working for a label now that's distributed by Atlantic, Pioneer Music Group. And so thank you, Ahmed, I appreciate it. And also thanks to my family, appreciate it. Daniels. Uh, well, I'd just uh, like to say I'm very honored to be here tonight, and uh, thank you, Timmy. <laughs> and uh, it's just great playing with the guys again, and uh, I'd like to thank also my mother and father very much for supporting me during those years, and thank you. Hey, how you doing? Briefly, I would like to thank um, the people from Kent, Ohio, Akron, Ohio, and Cleveland, Ohio for, for believing in me. I'd like to thank Bill Simzik for finding me in the middle of nowhere. I'd really like to thank Don and Glenn for writing those songs. Thank you, guys. Makes my job real easy. And I'd also like to thank all the guys that drive this equipment around, get it out of the truck, set it up, tune it up, fix it, put it back in the truck so we can do what we do. God bless the road crew. Thank you. Charming out there, Joe. Uh, I'd like to again thank uh, Don Henley and Glenn Fry for writing an incredible body of work that's propelled this band through 20 some odd years worth of uh, life. Thank you guys. And I'd like to uh, thank my wife Susan who put up with me for 26 years while we did this. Thank you. Well, I'm doing mop up. Uh, there's, there's much I'd like to say tonight, and of course we don't have time. I know it's 20, it takes 25 years to like get in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then another 25 years till you get to play two songs at the banquet. So I know we want to like get this thing going, so I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, obviously, you know, what, what's going on tonight is a lot bigger than any of the individuals on stage. Anybody who's been in a band knows what it's like to be in a band knows what it's like to go through the changes, uh, the relationships. A lot has been made tonight about disharmony. The Eagles were a very laid back band who played music in a very high stress situation. And a lot has been made uh, and a lot has been talked about and speculated about over the last 27 years about whether or not we got along. We got along fine. We just disagreed a lot. <laughs> Tell me one worthwhile relationship that has not had peaks and valleys. You know, I mean, that's, that's really what we're talking about here. And, and you cannot play music with people for very long if you don't genuinely like them. And I guarantee you that over the nine years that the Eagles were together during the 70s, over the three years that we were together during our reunion, the best of times ranked in the 95 percentile. The worst of times ranked in a very small percentile that obviously everybody but the seven of us have dwelt on for a long, long time. Get over it. On a personal note, you know, 
as you go through this business, and I, it's funny because I'm seeing Johnny Lang sitting here tonight who every guitar player in the house could take a couple private lessons from and probably get better. But you know, you get a lot of free advice when you're coming up in the business and most of it we don't listen to. But when I was 19 years old, Bob Seger told me if I didn't write my own songs, I'd never get out of Detroit. I listened to him. I said, well, what if they're bad? He said, well, the first few are going to be really bad, but then they, if you're good, you know, they'll get better. Uh, the next bit of free advice I got was from David Geffen, who told me I should get in a band and find a songwriting partner. I did both, and we're all here to celebrate the fruits of me following David's advice as well. On behalf of all the Eagles, on behalf of all the people, we're so lucky to be enshrined with the people that we admire. Uh, the people who were going in, I mean, I, we still, believe me, all of us can't believe that we get to join Fogarty, Robertson, Jimi Hendrix. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Uh, you honor us, therefore you honor yourselves. Thank you.